If you take the example of Afghanistan, there will be more Afghans fleeing their country in, in, the, few, in the next few months and years. Most of the migration that you'll see in the world is south-south, meaning it stays in the regions of the conflicts from which people flee. What we call a crisis here has been what people's lives have been like for the past half century. If you look at uh, Afghanistan, people have been fleeing war for decades, same with Somalia, Eritrea. So it's not a crisis, for them it's a real generational problem. And here in Europe either it's not a crisis a refugee crisis or a migration crisis. It's a crisis of responsibility, not bringing the right solutions, not analyzing the right way the problems that we have. So for example, if you take the case of the European Union, all you'll hear about is talks about irregular migration, fighting smuggling, uh, looking at all the negative aspects of, of migration, um, instead of looking at the legal obligations towards migrants, towards refugees, instead of requiring states to sign the UN Convention on the Rights of Migrant Workers, which you know not all EU countries have done. Um, the focus has been on blaming the migrants, blaming the refugees and the point of origin. So that's how you create a crisis. But it will be part of the reality for Europe uh, for many more years to come. Um, if you take the example of Afghanistan, there will be more Afghans fleeing their country in, in, the, few, in the next few months and years. That is what all analysts have been saying, uh, dubbing in the Afghan exodus. That's a clear reality. And people are leaving, uh, fleeing political insecurity and war. But seeing it as a crisis prevents us from bringing real solutions uh, and prevents us from seeing what it is our responsibility to do. So right now Europe is seeing a crisis of responsibility more than anything else. And in general, what research shows is that the idea of helping them there so that they don't come here is basically saying that we can contain those populations within their own countries. But what are their own countries? Their own countries are countries at war. So what you'll hear often in the case of Afghanistan, for example, and in, the, in a lot of the court cases on asylum these days in the UK, you will hear of a solution that the justice system puts forward is if they can't go back to their province that is a province at war in Afghanistan, let's say Kandahar or Helmand or Nangahar, they can certainly go back to Kabul, that's the capital city, and we're putting in a lot of um, money into aid programs. People can't just be expected to all go back uh, to Kabul city, uh, a city that's gone from 500,000 people to 5 million people in just uh, a matter of a decade. There's no urban planning, no, no proper sewage system. Uh, the needs of that city are particularly harsh. How can you expect that all Afghans should live in that one safe corner of the country, which is Kabul city? What is important to remember is that it is now accepted that Afghanistan is a country at war. So if it's accepted that Afghanistan is a country at war, why would we continue returning people there? Kabul is not uh, a safe option for those who have no social network, no economic network, uh, no homes, and that aren't able to just arrive like in a European city and rent an apartment. That's not how it works over there. And it's very important for us to remember uh, that if we do label countries countries at war, then we shouldn't be returning people in those countries. Of course, if the solutions aren't brought in the country of origin, in the region of displacement, then people will come to Europe. It's not their first destination, it's not their first choice, and it's not their first want. But if they're not left with any other solution, then yes, they will come all the way to Europe. So the answer has to be in the country of origin, in the region of origin, with a regional response to displacement problems in Africa and in East Africa. There are steps being taken to do that. Um, the World Bank uh, with EGAD are trying to provide regional solutions to force displacement and mixed migration in, in the region. And these are efforts that European governments need to support with more than just investment into tackling irregular migration or combating trafficking and smuggling, but with real solutions to local economic regeneration in those countries. Mm -hmm.